In this problem, we're going to talk about uh, the towing of a car on an inclined plane. So let's say we have an inclined plane and the angle of inclination is at 20 degree and a car is being towed up. So it is being pulled upwards by a force. The force, this force is given, which is 5,000 Newton the mass of the car is 1000 kilogram and it is being towed off or it is being moved up by a constant speed. There's no acceleration. And assuming the friction force is negligible, we need to know now how much force is acting onto this ramp. The maximum force the ramp can with the stand is 9,500 Newton. So when I'm moving this car upwards, will, will the ramp collapse or it will survive? Let's do the, the calculation. Again, the first thing we need to do is find out all the forces acting onto the system. Or in other words, draw a free body diagram and draw the forces in the two rectangular components x component and the y component so just to make life easier what we're going to do we're just choosing the inclined plane as our x axis and perpendicular to that is we call the y axis so this is our x system or x coordinate and this is y coordinate and take a look at the, all the forces we're now applying a force this is the applied force okay and the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface so this is the normal force so we given the two forces applied force and the normal force and there is another force acting onto this one the weight of the car is always downward so this is given as the weight of the car so three forces we have so far, the, the one is applied force, the normal force, and the weight, which is the downward. Okay. And now what we're going to do is uh, resolve all the forces into two components. You can see that the force is, this force is in one direction, the weight is another direction, and the normal force is in the different direction. But we make, we're going to resolve the forces such that all the forces will be in X component and it will be along the Y components. Okay. So this force, F force and the normal force are already in X and Y direction. The only force that is not either along X or Y direction is the weight. So we're going to resolve this force now. As, so this is again normal to the inclined plane. As this angle is theta, this angle will also be theta. Okay. So this angle and this angle is exactly equal. And why is that? Because you see this is the, the 90 degree. So if this angle is theta, this angle will be 90 minus theta. So this angle will be theta. And this component will be cosine component mg cosine theta because this component is closer to the angle. And remember the rule C, C, closer to the angle is always cosine component. So this is closer to the angle. So this will be mg cosine theta. And this will be mg sine theta because it is further from this angle. So now we do not need this force now. So what we have to look all the forces along the x direction and all the forces along the y direction. That's it. So, okay. So now let's take a look at the all the forces that is acting along the x axis, along this axis. And you can clearly see there are two forces. One is F and the other is Mg sine theta. And these two forces are acting opposite to each other. Or in the opposite direction so the total force along the x-axis has to be equal to zero now do not get confused the total force is zero 
why is that because the system the car is not accelerating up it is being topped up with a uniform velocity so there is no acceleration so we know that the f is equal to mass time acceleration if the system is moving with a constant velocity acceleration would be zero that means the total force would be zero okay and what is the total force the total force is f minus mg sine theta that means this force is now equal to mg sine theta the mass is given which is 1000 kilogram g value we know that is 9.8 sine theta theta is 20 degree so this all numbers now if you plug in what you get is 3352 newton so the rope as it mentioned here the rope can handle 5000 newton force and while pulling up the car we are applying only the 3352 newton so that means the rope will not break it will survive okay the second part is will the so this rope here if it is being pulled by a rope the rope will not break for sure now now see if this ramp will collapse how are we going to find out how much force is acting onto this ramp or this inclined plane the total force that is acting onto the ram is this force mg cosine theta or the normal force these two forces are equal and opposite so we need to find out the, what is the normal force here so let's do that so if you look at the uh, along the y-axis along this axis again the total force is zero because the system is not moving along the y direction so the total force along this axis must be zero so fy is equal to zero sorry for some reason it collapsed so let me open it again so this is now n minus mg cosine theta this has to be equal to zero and now n will be equal to mg cosine theta the mass is given g is given cosine theta and if you solve what you get is 9209 newton force and this ramp can handle 9500 newton so again it won't collapse i would say collapse so that's how you're going to solve the inclined plane problem okay and again here i'm assuming there is no friction force if there is a friction force you have to take into account the the friction force as well which will be in the, the downward direction if it is moving up again if you have any questions write down your questions in the comment section below and at the end, do not forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you very much.